Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man and a welcome to the start of a brand new series, a building series within The Sims 4. It's a collaboration series between myself and ex -Sim Sugar. We did exactly the same thing back in The Sims 3 and we absolutely loved that and uh, we're going to do exactly the same in The Sims 4. I am going to be doing the building side of things, she's going to be going and doing the uh, all the decoration and the indoorsy kind of stuffs. And um, yeah, it's going to be really, really good fun, guys, and I'm really looking forward to it. Again, all the links that you will need are in the description below. I will try, I don't know how it works nowadays, but I will try to uh, give you a link towards uh, where you can find this particular lot unfurnished. She is going to furnish it, and it's going to come out on her channel a couple of days after uh, it comes out on my channel as the build itself. So... Just to go through what we're going to do uh, for this particular build that we've got on here. I, as you can see, I've already done the steps on the front there. I've done a foundation because I wanted that decking as he went into the front door. I wanted that little bit of a decking on the outside. Whether or not there's going to be a chair there, I don't know if there's going to be enough room really. Uh, but we'll see. Um, on the outside, we've got a lot of windows going in now, all nicely tying in with each other. And this is what I like to do. I like to get the general basic layout of the house first and then uh, move on to do the inside layout next. Now, the actual uh, the roof, what I'm just putting on now, I like to overlap the roof a little bit. People, some, some some people don't like to do that, but I like to overlap the roof a little bit because it just does, it looks a bit strange when it just stops at the end of the house. And uh, well, even though you know you look up on, on any terraced house that's actually real, and you will find that it is. It stops uh, where your house ends. It, it never overlaps as much as what it does on this. But uh, you can see me trying the different columns there to try and keep that area up. Not that it really needs to be kept up, but it just makes it look a bit more authentic if there's something holding it up there. Um, now, there you go, as you can see. I've actually missed the front off, and I do go and sort that out, as you can see here. Uh, I do go and sort that out. Also, the pitch of the roof itself as well is too high. Uh, it looks really, really strange. So I brought the pitch of the roof down, as you can see there as well. I like to get the house done first. And then, like I said, I move over to the inside of the building uh, where I do the layout of the building. And then after I've done the layout of the building, I then go outside and then I start on the garden. Now, I get carried away. I've got to say, guys, when I'm doing my Sims stuff, I get really carried away when I'm doing my garden. And I did have to uh, actually delete some of the stuff that I did because I've got to leave the amount of money for her so that she can do the inside of the house with it. And to be honest, there's not a great deal of money left. I've got like just over 7,000 simoleons left after building the house itself. I think she might just go over that. Um, it's, it's meant to be a starting house. At least I'm trying to get it to be a starting house. And um, the, the, I love the gardens and I can't help myself when it comes to the garden. So if we do go over that 20,000 simoleon mark just a little bit, I, I'm really not too disappointed. I really like the look of this house and I'll certainly be probably using this in the future uh, going forwards. So I tried different sidings or different uh, masonry on the side of the house, but I originally, um, I didn't like it. I just, I didn't like the look of it. It looked a bit strange. It looked a bit white and black. And I don't want the outside of a house to look white and black. So I, I went all the way back to what I had before, um, which was the uh, simply plaster or something like that. I think, it was, I think it looked good. This white and then the brick effect on the bottom there for the foundations. I think it looked pretty good, guys. Um, and then I'm just having a quick uh, look around there before I then move on to the inside of the house. It's a very small house, of course, because it's a starting house. It's one that you can fit, I hope that you can fit all the necessities in to actually start living your life and then maybe add on extensions in the future. Um, but here's where I cut because it took me ages to figure out where I was going to put things. So as you can see, if it was me doing this particular thing, and it's not, I don't, I don't do, I do the layout of the building, but I don't actually decide what room is going to be what and where is going to be placed what. Um, I've kind of made it so that there's really no other choice. Other, well, you could have a choice, and maybe she might move a door around or a wall around. 
that's up to her if she wants to do that, that's absolutely fine. I, the, my original idea was to have the kitchen right at the back of the house there, uh, just in that little bit of an alcove, and then the living room, dining room, along the hall of that front. Just as you walk in the front door, there's going to be a living room, and then further on down the back there was going to be a dining room. Now, I did try to find one of those little half walls, so I could at least separate the two rooms, but unfortunately, I couldn't find one. At least, I don't know where it is on that particular screen. So, um, what I then did, guys, was the middle one, the smallest room in the middle there, that is the bathroom, and of course, the one that was on the front of the house, and this really, really strange layout, because usually I don't like to put my bedrooms on the front of the house. This is why I say maybe things will change, maybe she might move a wall around or something like that and, uh, and, and figure that out. I don't know, it's totally, it's totally up to her whether, whether she does that or not. So that's where I would place the kitchen, right in that alcove, and then the dining room or the table is what it's going to be uh, with the chair. I, I would place it just on that, right in the corner of the house there. Um, and I think it looks good. Uh, for, for a starter house, there's nothing really... I can't go all out on a starter house and make huge rooms and stuff like that. I've made the bathroom lighter uh, because the, the, the front room is a little bit dark. It's, it's uh, cosy, is what I like to call it. I like to call it cosy, that living room and the kitchen there. Um, and I've made the bathroom really light and airy and nice neutral kind of colours and then the girl, it's going to be a, a woman that's going to live here, or at least I, that, that's what I plan to be uh, a woman a woman gardener, not a bloke that's there, I just used him to um, get in the lot there and here's me testing out the paths now uh, different ones within the sim, now I haven't actually touched gardens yet in the sims for at all. This is my first ever garden that I've ever done on The Sims 4 up to this point. And I like it guys. I really like it. I liked the finished article before I then started having to delete stuff because I didn't leave enough money. Uh, but you'll see that in a second. I'm just make, making the path to the actual pavement there. Um, I like this effect with the, the with the um, the cobblestones and the, and the uh, dirt in between that. Uh, I was looking around for plants and stuff like that, and because there is no move objects on, or is it like intercept objects, oh, I, don't, I can't remember what it was called now, it's, it makes things a little bit more difficult now. I didn't realise until later on that you could actually press ALT and then move it around so it didn't, you didn't have to snap it particular, to uh, particular grid spots. That might have helped me out in some, but I think it looks, still looks good anyway. So I'm looking for plants that could really go uh, with the house, and the trees there, they go fantastic with the house. Nice, thin, big trees that that, that have the, the canopies, the top, you know, the, the, the leaves above the house. Um, so that's what I wanted for that one, and that's what I've got there. I've got an unkept kind of hedge going up to the main house, because... I don't like the the look of the uh, that like the the proper like the cube hedge that I I'm going to use that a little bit later on for around those little garden pots that you can see there. Um, I don't like that look when you're going up to a house. I just think it looks a bit show homey, and I, I don't want it to be show homey. I want it to be cosy. I want it to be yes, there is a person that actually lives here. So you can see me using those little cu cubic hedges there. Uh, I eventually actually move all of them. I delete them all and switch around the planter boxes because uh, I just thought, well, hang on a minute, you can't actually get round to the other plants there. So it made no sense to actually put them there. So I deleted them all, as you can see me doing here, and then uh, I went ahead and moved the planter boxes the other way around as you can see and this is where I like this is where I come alive I really love to do my gardens guys you can see I've got a dirt kind of uh, terrain paint there to put underneath the uh, the hedges because if you don't do that it just looks a little bit strange guys you don't have grass underneath hedges I mean I've never seen grass uh, abo uh, underneath hedges unless it's properly like overgrown or something like that so I'm just making a tiny little flowering area a little bit of an area where a lot of flowers and bushes and plants and stuff will go just around this uh, the, just around the deck in there um, basically because I just think it looks right there. I mean, I haven't done anything around the house at all, apart from right on the front of the house there, and then the uh, the little decking right around, following that curve there. And I think it looks good. I really do think it looks good. Um, I try to do my best again with move without move objects on. It's really hard to intersect all these stones, and that's what I usually like to do. If you remember in my Sims 3 series, I love to intersect my stones, and uh, you can't do that on here. So, 
Um, I'm just looking at different bits and bobs, different terrain paints at the moment, just to see what I can put underneath the plants, because at the moment, again, you don't get grass growing underneath plants. You put the plants in flower beds, it's just, it's the way of it. Uh, here's me looking at what I was going to do for around the planter boxes there. I didn't just want to shove them in the middle of the grass. It just doesn't look right to do that. So I put this little bit of a pavement in there with a bit of grass in, in the middle. And that looks good. I think that looks good. And I, eventually I do keep that. And then I don't actually keep these uh, these plants that I'm putting down there. It was just a little bit of an experiment that I'm doing. I've got to say it, guys. I am loving The Sims 4 so far. What do you guys reckon? Are you enjoying The Sims 4 so far? There are a few things that could be tweaked and changed and added in, like goddamn creator style. I I really love creator style, and I want it back. <laughs> so as you can see, I've, I've got rid of all of those things there, and I'm going to go ahead and put round uh, the more of that path just around the flower beds there so it gives the person or uh, what I would think if I was living here I would like access to my flower beds to be able to go and water them and stuff like that so I've just put a little bit of a um, a little bit of a pathway into there and here you can see I fill that pathway in there and I've got a little bit of the uh, the um, cubic hedge kind of thing around there and now this is where I start to go a little bit crazy right in the middle of here I think it's all, it's all a little bit bare right in the middle there. I want to put something in there. Eventually, all of this, what I'm doing right here in the middle, it goes because I'm left with about 5,000 simoleons, and that's really, really pushing it. 7,000 simoleons is pushing it, but 5,000 is like, whoa, you can't really. There's not enough. There's not enough really there to, to, um, to kit a house out with, so I haven't left her with much. Remember guys, a link to her channel will be in the description below, go ahead and check her out. She is going to be doing the decorating of this particular house, the inside, now she's fantastic at doing the decorating on the inside of the house. I love my gardens, as you can see I can do the outside of a house quite nicely, I think I can do a, the outside of the house quite nicely. Um, and as you can see, all of this stuff means absolutely nothing, it gets deleted anyway. And I, I, I really do like this, before I go ahead and delete everything. Um, just take a look at it guys because I like the way that I've done it and this was the way that I would have kept it if it hadn't have gone like totally mad uh, in, in terms of simoleons. Here I am putting some more plants in there just to uh, make it look like a, a flower bed really, just make it look like a garden. Ultimately all in vain really um, because they all get dragged back out again. Now there's a little bit of a strange kind of uh, bush there and if, if it wasn't for the uh, hedges I probably would have put that in because I mean it went into the hedges because I, I don't know what that went, it went into the hedges so I thought it didn't look right so I took it all out and here's me realizing um, that hang on a minute I haven't given myself enough money and then I'm like I'm gonna have to delete all of this stuff so I go ahead and delete everything <laughs> so that was a bit of pretty of a waste of a time but it still looks good nonetheless I reckon guys and um, coming up now, I'm going to give you a quick look at some of the rooms. And then uh, I will see you guys for another build at some stage in the near future. Guys, I've been the Tough Man. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget the links in the description. And as always, stay safe. <laughs>